So today we're going to be going over how to access data from the Twitter API using R. So the first thing we have to do is get a Twitter account. So as you can see, I already have a Twitter account. Um, so just make one and it won't take long. Um, but most of this video is basically just going over to how to set up um, a new app so you can access the Twitter API. So first thing to do is go to this link and select create new app. Um, everything is on my blog post, which will be included down below. Um, and then it just goes through, you know, the steps to, you know, make a Twitter app, basically, and basically how to run the code and going over a little bit of the code. And the second part of this video is basically just, you know, analyzing data and doing some fun stuff with it. Okay, so the first thing we do is create new app. Um, application name. So this is YouTube um, video, and let me just say January, anything. Um, so this description has to be filled. So just go YouTube video. Oh. OK, and website, you have to have one. Um, so for this, I'm just going to put in um, a link to the blog post I wrote on this. And the callback URL, um, the safest thing to do is um, just to use this. Why? It's just in the documentation. And you can do anything else if you know the documentation pretty well. So the next thing we have to do is select the developer agreement and then create Twitter application. So next thing we have to do is go to keys and access tokens. And down below, it says create my access token. Um, this will make it easier for us to um, avoid a browser song and dance where um, as soon as you run your code, a browser pops up and you have to agree to something. Um, basically, tokens just make your life easier. So now that we have all this, um, please keep note that you should record your consumer key somewhere, your consumer secret somewhere, uh, your access token, access secret token. And don't share these. Like what I'm doing right now is actually pretty bad um, sharing my tokens on a video. Um, but I'm going to erase this app shortly after the video is posted. Okay. So the first thing we do is open up our studio or just regular R. And we're basically just going to copy our consumer key over to our R Studio um, consumer secret, access token, access secret, and then run the, the code just to make sure that what we did actually works. So let me just make my screen a little better. Oops. Um, it's important to note that sometimes if you copy and paste, um, you're going to get a little bit of extra space. Um, just make sure there's no extra space um, in your strings for your consumer secret, um, access token, etc. Okay, everything looks good so far. Okay. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to run our code. Um, so for this, we use the Twitter R package. And this is wonderful because we don't have to do browser-based authentication. Um, and then we're going to run the code, see if it works. And what I'm getting right here is just um, uh, tweets from the election. And okay, 